We had some of the most active nights in the recent uh, time in the Swarsengi volcanic system area. And uh, this is the K1, uh, the only remaining vent. It is now o over three weeks this volcano has erupted. Suddenly the uh, lava pool toward the south drained and the lava was emptied. This is for the south. And uh, as you can see here, this is toward the Grindavik. In the opposite direction, toward the north, we didn't have such dramatic events like this collapse that in the south happened also. You can see that the lava tube roof collapses completely. In the north, I was waiting for the something because the lava was flowing continuously. This is the earlier last night, and you can see some activity is going on, but this is the shock. You see that three lava tongues have crossed over the lava defenses, eight meter tall walls, berms, which we have built to protect the Swartzing geothermal power plant, and they have breached it now. We are trying hard to, con uh, to contain them, but putting uh, water on them just to make them cooler, and uh, it seems that our efforts were in vain so far. As the day goes by, the level of the activity of the lava tongs has not stopped. The breach is not to stop. It's yet still active. The lava is, 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 is still flowing toward that uh, uh, sword sengi. As you can see, this is the uh, between the road and the hill of the Slingerfell. And uh, a market here, you can see on the map. This is a beautiful map by the MBL. This is the area that this is happening. I've marked it already for you. The black arrow toward the lower part shows the flow of the lava and the red arrow shows the three places that it has been breached. And we are trying to build a berm or defense wall there to stop them. Uh, at the moment, it seems we have not been successful. It has not just stopped it completely. But as the day goes by, it may stop itself by getting cold and solid.